Hello. Hello to all of you at TLM Games. My name is Deceptive Cobras. My Heroes and Generals tag is XX underscore Sacred Angel underscore XX. It's that old. That's how old my username is. That's when we used to add the XS and the underscores and whatnot. But this video is my way of expressing to you my thoughts about Heroes and Generals. Now, this isn't just a random player. I used to be a big content creator for Reto and Heroes and Generals. Um, along with other streamers like Cotton Gamer, Iwaxy, I'm the Flying Cow, um, and, and a few others. And unfortunately, I cannot speak for them. They can only speak for themselves. But I can speak for myself from this point of view. And that is, I feel that, excuse me, the product that you've got now, the original Heroes and Generals, has run its course. All games have a shelf life. This is why there's Diablo 1, 2, 3, and 4. There's not just Diablo. Um, why there is always sequels to movies, because eventually everything has a shelf life. The fact that I tried to warn Red Bjorna and a whole bunch of other people uh, a very long time ago that their graphics engine has hit its limit, its peak, back in 2013. No, before that. Yeah, 2012, 20, yeah, yeah, 20, yeah, 2013. So I think when I actually finally said to him that you've hit your peak and that you need to and I wasn't the only one that mentioned it. Cotton mentioned it. And again, all these other streamers mentioned, look, look guys, look at what Red Orchestra is doing using Unreal Engine. Look at what all these other games coming up. Battlefield 1944 uses Unreal Engine. Um, look at Hell Let Loose uses Unreal Engine. Um, all these other games are switching over to this less resource intensive game. The reason why they didn't is because at, at the time, Heroes and Generals was still a web browser based game using java yeah so it was reto's inability to look forward to is what killed them however you guys at tlm games i feel that you guys have a lot of vision and you have a lot of ideas and i want to share some ideas with you from both a content creator and a and and a game developer I dabble from time to time in, in helping out my friends with their projects and with their game projects using Unreal Engine. I am not a pro at Unreal Engine by far, by far. However, um, a lot of the people in my Discord are game developers, are game creators, are game coders, and we did come up with a viable demo using Unreal Engine, and we made our own little grim dark first-person shooter thingy, and um, it was actually pretty fun. It, it was pretty fun. I liked it. And a lot of people asked us when we when were we going to release it. We had no intentions of releasing it. We just wanted to get our creativity juices out because it was clear that Heroes and Generals wasn't going to do anything. And this was just before I switched over to playing War Thunder, which is a different World War II vehicle-based combat system. But point is, my idea to help you guys become funded is simply what's known as the Tarkov effect. Now, this is a first-person shooter game called Escape from Tarkov. It's more military, it's more realistic, which means if you get shot in the leg, you can hit an artery, bleed out, break your leg, you gotta set the bone, there's other things, you gotta do surgery on yourself, things of that nature. It's literally very, very intensive. And it's made by a company called Battlestate Games. Now, they don't own the rights to this, but this is just an idea I wanted to, sh to give you and show you what I'm talking about. As you can see here, this is their pre-order beta is available thing. The game is out now. It's in, in a constant beta state. But the point is, they have four editions. Standard, Left Behind, Prepare to prepare for Escape, and Edge of Darkness. Now, I own an Edge of Darkness account. So, if we scroll down to it, okay, you get all this extra gear on top of all the gear that you get in here. So, you get all these guns, all this fuel, all these everything and whatnot. But you also gain some out-of-game things. 
like um, uh, uh, um, where is it? It's down here. You get a unique game ID. So with this, you can say to original Heroes and Ge Heroes and Generals players, if you want to keep your username, buy into this. You get to we we will transfer over your username to the new, new database. Various other things, free access to DLC. Um, you know, starting better starting gear, things of that nature, maybe even a credit booster, you know, some EXP boosters, things of that nature, stuff that's really not going to cost you anything initially. And you can set the prices to however you want. Um, if I remember correctly, the Edge of Darkness account is like 150 something dollars. Um, I, and I'll even show you my profile here real quick. This is their anti bot thing. I started off with a standard account, so they've already got 40 something dollars from me. Then I moved from America to the UK and had to switch it to a European account, which means they got another 20 something dollars from me. And then I spent an additional $140 to get it up to an Edge of Darkness account. So in essence, they got over 250 pounds from me. <laughs> if that makes sense. So it's not like I haven't like, like, pay, you know, like, like paid my dues into this game. Now, I bought into the game because I just wanted something to play. And yes, currently right now, Escape from Tarkov has an issue with cheaters. So a lot of people aren't playing the game. And that's understandable. But I figured that this would be a very interesting and unique way for you guys to be become self-funded. Which means you can, you can keep the Kickstarter up. And that's fine. But Kickstarter is going to take a percentage. Okay? They're going to take a percentage. It's a given. They're going to take a percentage. When If you become self-funded, there's no percentage loss. You're getting 100% of the funds that are being raised. Now, to answer some of the annoying questions that were asked of you in chat about why not keep the servers up and running, I know for a fact, again, I, I work part-time for Amazon in the AWS server department. I literally am the one that people talk to when they want to have more server space added to their online network. So you guys basically would contact someone in my department and say, hey guys, we need an extra server cluster in this here, there, or wherever. And I'm like, okay, what's your, what's your budget? You know, or what's your account? You give me account details, I realize what your budget is. Okay, you're allocated an extra, you know, 20 something GPUs, you know, X amount of cores, X amount of RAM, X amount of hard drive space. You know, that's what I do. So I know that the server costs for, for heroes and generals alone is quite expensive. Okay. And as a former content creator for heroes and generals for Red Omodo, um, I, I know for a fact that the game met its end with the graphics engine period. As you guys have explained, it, it, it was a very limited graphics engine, which it is. Unreal Engine, you can easily upgrade it and keep upgrading it and upgrading it. But I think it stops up every... I think it's every fourth generation. So at case point, games that are made with Unreal 1 cannot be upgraded to Unreal 4. They can only be upgraded to Unreal 3. And then they hit a wall, if I remember correctly. If I remember correctly. Um, but the point is, I see the vision that you guys have. I do. And I want to help. Um, so my idea is do something similar to the to the Escape from Tarkov deal where you got packages, but make one of the packages where viable so that players can log into the alpha and give you guys feedback. Granted, not not twenty four seven alpha access. Like you have access to the servers for you know the next four or five hours. Boop 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 on these days. And we can play, we can record, we can take screenshots. Can't can't upload them. You know, we, 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 we'll sign NDAs. You know, I, I will sign an NDA anyway. Uh, sign an NDA, you know, and, and whatnot. And we give our feedback with video evidence, with photo evidence as to what we're doing. So you're not just getting a small little snippet of words, but actual visually what we see, what we do if that makes sense, you know, and we can throw it up on, on a Discord server or a Google Doc or something like that, or, or, or an internal server, whatever. It's just an idea that you can actually get feedback from the original Heroes and Generals content creators like myself, Cotton, Iwaxi, 
uh, I'm a Flying Cow, uh, Jepo X. Um, you know, you, you can get feedback from a lot of us content creators. Um, I loved the fact that you were doing this sort of q and I really do. Uh, I feel personally that what was the, the start of the demise of Redo was when they stopped doing their monthly uh, uh, um, Twitch streams and, and talking to the player base and, and, and talking about the roadmap and what's been cancelled and why it was cancelled and, and what the technical difficulties are for, for various things and, and, and things of that nature. That's That's what I'm talking about, guys. It is if you don't talk to your it, it, the, in any relationship and that's ultimately what this is between a game developer and their player base is a relationship in all relationships you have to communicate you you and it goes both ways it's not it's not just listen to angry game or 441 you game suck blah 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 okay uh, fair enough okay you've just said the game sucks but you've not given us a reason as to why you think the game sucks Okay, give us constructive feedback. Feedback's good. All feedback is good, but constructive feedback is better. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. You'll be able to, to get trusted feedback from players with with video and and picture, you know, yeah, with actual proof as to what we think would be better. Um and things of that nature. That's my idea. Um, you may like it, you may hate it. If you do, that's understandable. But um, either way, if any one of you guys could just message me on Discord, or you know, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, again, I love what you're doing. Um, I really want to help you out in any which way that I can. Um, so please, don't be afraid to hit me up with any questions, comments, uh, ideas, things of that nature. I greatly appreciate you watching this video, and uh, all you other guys over on YouTube, I greatly appreciate you watching this video. Until then, guys, keep shells flying, keep your enemies dying. Your Cobra Commander is out, and I'll see you sexy bitches in the next one, my friends. Ciao.